Hello everyone, RapRex here, and uh, today we're going to go over nuclear power. So yeah, let's get started. Now, nuclear power can be risky um, if not done properly. So I'm hoping that this uh, this tutorial will help you guys um, uh, comprehend at least uh, the basics of it. Now, I have done uh, a lot of testing, and I will include um, a link to this uh, this little program, this online app. That lets you test different layouts for the the chamber uh, the chambers, and I'll explain that later. But first, we want to go over the uh, making a, a nuclear reactor. So first, actually, we're going to need some uh, water cells. Uh, you do this by just putting a tin in a diamond shape and just right clicking over a water source. And we need to put this in a nuclear. Uh, no, sorry, not nuclear. In a just extractor. Put that in there for now and I'll let that run. We're going to need a lot of those for the nuclear reactor. Those are coolant cells. That's what it's making right now. But first, uh, let's start with the reactor chamber. First thing we need is an advanced uh, circuit. Now I made a, quite a few of these because we're going to need them even for the nuclear reactor. So just a regular electronic circuit will work, which is uh, six cables, well, three in the top, three in the bottom, red stones on the side, and ref uh, refine the iron in the middle. Now to make the advanced one, all we need is uh, put lapis and uh, glowstones on the other side. Now these can be inverted. You can put them uh, like this and it works fine. And uh, just have redstone on all four corners. <coughs> Sorry. And that will make it a uh, full stack of uh, advanced circuits. Now we're going to need, um, I think they're the, the, I forgot what they're called here. Let me do them real quick. You just need advanced alloys and uh, f coppers on the on four sides, and they're called integrated reactor platings. Now we're gonna need a, a few of those, and uh, the problem with those is that they don't they don't stack as you can see. So we're gonna need to make them uh, a few at a time. And uh, let's see what point this is going because we're gonna need a few of these, and these don't stack either. So I mean, it's, it's a real pain to make these. Now I'm only going to show you to make uh, just the basics because we're going to need eight react, uh, reactor chambers. S two of those are going to go for the nuclear reactor and then six are going to go on uh, all the six sides of the of the cube to make uh, a full nuclear reactor with uh, as many chamber slots as you can. <coughs> now for for all the reactor chambers that you make then you're going to need to uh, that you make, you can have extra slots in the nuclear reactor itself to put uh, more items in there like coolant cells and uh, heat dispersers. Now the heat disperser, I'm going to look at the recipe real quick because uh, I mean it's a pretty long pro- oh, sorry. It's a, it's a long process to make this so I mean I, I can't possibly remember all the recipes. So we need two coolant cells on either side, integrated reactor in the middle, advanced circuits that we already made and some copper. Now let's uh, make two of those for now put that in there integrated reactor Just dump all those in there to make a few circuit in the middle what was the rest and copper right just put that in there for now there you go two of those uh, I want to make a few th more of those so I gotta grab some more of this coolant stuff uh, there you go I'll make me two more There you go. Now to make the reactor chamber, we're going to need to make. So this is a nuclear reactor. We'll get to that later. See, so we need one for every chamber, and like I mentioned before, we need eight of those. <coughs> now up to now we have four, so I'm going to drop these in on the top, and another four that we're going to, need to make. So I have more space for the for the coolant cell, sorry. Grab a few of those, there you go, as much as I can grab. Put some on the sides and fill up the rest. Now uh, that's why the project table is so useful for this kind of situations because um, you can just drop the items in here and just hold shift and just click and it'll make all the ones they can make and uh, here, here we have all the eight that we need. 
so I'm going to take this off for now. We're going to need them later. And uh, let's make the, the, the chamber. Now we're going to need three more per chamber of just in integrated reactor platings. And then just advanced alloys. Now I'll remember you guys that advanced alloys you need uh, the mixed metal ingots with uh, refined iron, tin, and uh, bronze, not copper. And just put that in compression and you get the advanced alloys. They're the same, the same material that we use for the advanced machine blocks. <coughs> now I also need machine blocks which I forgot to get some. Uh, hopefully I have some uh, iron in here. Of course we do. We'll put some of that in the in the furnace real quick. Oh, I don't want to do that. Split them up so they go quicker. There you go. Well that is going. There you go. Now let's put that in the corners. We need that on top. Now we need the machine block here and we need to make put a few of these on the sides. Now I want to make as many as these as, as quickly as possible even though I don't I obviously don't have enough integrated platings yet because these do stack. And um, I'm gonna grab a few of those. There you go. Make the machine blocks here. Uh, four for now. I'll put that in the middle. There you go. Got one of those. Put these on top. There you go and see they stack. <coughs> now let me grab a few more of these uh, integrated reactor platings. Just put a put that in the middle. Put that on either side. There you go. Drop a few more in the project table. There you go. Got two. We need another machine block. Let's see where the refined iron is already here. Oh, it's coming in slowly. Come on. Just gonna drop a few more iron in there. We can never have too much refined iron. There you go. All right, this will do for now. So let's make more machine blocks. We're gonna need a few of these. So two more. Drop that in the middle. There you go. We're up to five. Another one, six. So we need two more machine blocks and a few more uh, integrated plating. So let's grab those for now. Run out of copper. There you go. Now this can be very tedious, especially when you're going to start putting items inside the reactor chambers because none of these items for some reason stack. It's, it's a pain in the ass. Sorry for my language, but it's just no other way to put it. I wish they could just stack them, but, uh, but it doesn't. So yeah, let's get uh, some more of that refined iron. Should be here. There we go. There you go. Two more. Perfect. Put those in there. Middle. Seven, eight. Perfect. Now we have the eight reactor chambers, and now we're gonna make a nuclear reactor. Now to make the nuclear, we only need one of those, but we need two uh, reactor chambers. And we just put them on either side, and I believe it's just put advanced alloys on top and the bottom, and there we go. You have the nuclear reactor. Obviously, I brought a lot of extra materials, but uh, that's because what we need also is um, is to make some reinforced stone and reinforced uh, glass. And to do that, we need a lot of these advanced alloys. And you just pretty much put advanced alloy in the middle and just stone on, uh, all around it, and it makes you eight reinforced stone. And for the glass, it's uh, just put top or bottom, or in either side, doesn't really matter. And just put glass in the middle, in between. And we're going to use a lot of that. And um, for the reactor area, I guess, because even though this, this layout I'm going to show you guys is pretty safe, uh, I always like to take it on the safe side. And just in case it does blow up, I don't want half my base to blow up. Obviously, I'm not going to build it up here. I have a separate area for those, and I already have seven oh, seven reactors working. I want to make the eighth with the with the stuff that I'm bringing over. So yeah, let, uh, let's go over there and get started. Ah. <coughs> 
<clears throat> All right, now this is uh, the entrance. <laughs> a little sign I put up. Now you're gonna notice here on the on the right side we have uh, some tube, and uh, you saw there something that went by. That's um, uh, something called scrap, and uh, you make that with a recycler. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make that in the next episode because um, what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna be making a mass fabricator, which is this thing right here, which takes scrap in here and it, uh, and it makes uh, UU matter, which is something used to make iridium ore, and that's what I used to make the my quantum armor. Now that's for another episode, but that's pretty much what I'm using all this energy from the quantum uh, from the nuclear reactors for this uh, MFSU here. And yeah, because this mass fabricator uses a, a hell of a lot of energy. So yeah, this is uh, where I have all my reactors. I have eight reactors right now. Oh, it's a zombie around here. And uh, this is the one I'm, I'm building right now. And I already brought all the stuff I needed, the uranium cells, coolant cells, and integrated heat dispersers. I already showed you guys how to make these two. So for the uranium cell, you need an empty cell like you do for the, cool, for the water cell. Just uh, tin in uh, as a diamond shape, and then uh, re uh, re refine the uh, uranium, and you make that with a compressor. You just put a regular uran uranium ore into the compressor, and it gives you a bar of refined uranium. And you do that, use that with the uh, empty cell, and it gives you uranium cell. Now, as you can see, I already built this whole thing. This is all made out of reinforced stone and reinforced glass. Now, down there, I have a glass fiber cable, which you can use for the nuclear reactor. Now since I have so many nuclear reactors, I have eight, they'll converge into one uh, central point and then from there it's carried over to the high voltage transformer through uh, a high voltage cable insulated times four. Now that's a lot of take in and pretty much if you're only making one nuclear reactor you don't need any of that stuff because one, uh, just the glass fiber cable will work just fine. But uh, unfortunately I can't show you guys because it's all underground, I made a whole layer underground just all the cables hitting. So for now we're just gonna get started with the nuclear reactor. Now I'm gonna need some uh, wood. Now I won't drown because I have uh, this quantum helmet which lets me breathe underwater as long as it's charged and that's what we're gonna be making next episode uh, this quantum armor. Now let's get started with this. Put some wooden blocks here. Get the nuclear reactor and the chambers. First we put the nuclear reactor and uh, the chamber in the bottom. And then we can take this off. There you go. And that's connected uh, with the glass fiber cable in the bottom. Glass fiber cable in the bottom. Sorry. Now we just put out the the reactor chambers. There you go. And the one on top. See. And that uses all all six other chambers that we made. And. Uh, and yeah, you just right click it and you see all the slots you can fill it in. Now I'm going to show you guys the, the layout of the, all the items. So first thing I'm going to grab, actually I want to make more space in my inventory because all this stuff, like I mentioned, can't be, uh, it's not stackable. So first I want to grab the integrated heat dispersers. That's the first thing I want to do. And just you, you can, uh, at least the way I have it set up, you can just right click from, from the top of here, you don't have to go down in the water. Now to do this, you have to put two on here in the corner, and you do that for all the corners except the top right corner, which you only put one here. Now I'm not gonna take credit for this uh, this layup, but I can't remember who I s where I saw it to give proper credit. But um, yeah, I mean it's it's very useful. I'm sorry, I, I messed up here for talking. I believe that's how it is. Man, I can't believe I forgot. It's been so long since I made one of these. Uh, let me look at my other reactors. Oh, that's not what I want to do. There you go. Okay, so, yeah, it's like that. Not two in the middle. So I was doing it right. It's just miscalculated. So, yeah. Um, I'm not going to take credit for this layout because I didn't come up with it. But um, I'm, I can't remember where I saw it, so I, I can't get proper credit. But uh, I'm going to leave a link, like I mentioned, in the description of this video for the, the app that I used to test it out. Because even though I saw it somewhere else, I wasn't going to just like take it for granted. And I don't suggest anybody 
to take anything for granted, especially when you're messing with uh, nuclear reactors, to always test your layouts be on the on the app before you apply it, because you don't want to lose all the work that you did with the uh, nuclear reactors. Now I'm just gonna dump all these in here, and then I'm gonna make the space for the where the uranium cells are gonna go into. I find that to be easier and quicker. Now we're gonna be using eight uranium cells. I've seen another layout that uses um. 10 uranium cells but it uses less dispersers and less coolant cells and it comes out with the same output of power which is I guess it's pretty cool because it uses uh, less of these items but since these items if you cool it properly don't get used I'd rather have um, I'd rather use less uranium cells but with the same output of power so I mean it all depends what you guys want to do and what we want to do here actually is uh, leave these four slots open and do the same th uh, same thing for this side there you go so we have eight here I mean four here and four here and now we all we have to do is just drop the uranium cells in here and you're gonna hear uh, I don't know if you can hear it but it's like a humming going on and you see all these green bars coming up at the bottom that means uh, they're heating up now th with this setup you don't have to worry about the, the the cooling but like I mentioned before don't take anything from granted and make sure you test it before you try it on your own on your own map and that's producing energy right now so I'm gonna close that up and yeah like uh, I want to see if I can show you guys see they, they start getting used up the uranium cells and you see the little bar in the bottom once they deplete and uh, are all used up yeah you, ha you have to put new uranium cells in there and that's why I mentioned that I would rather have this layout that only uses eight but has the same output as a as one with ten cells so yeah all my all my all my reactors are the same pretty much and it's, it's long hallway a reactors in here I know energy converges into this MFSU now I know this episode is kinda long and it's a lot to take in but uh, if you have any questions please leave a message down below I'll try to answer as best as I can and uh, and yeah see you for next episode with uh, for some quantum armor that we're gonna be using all this energy to make and uh, yeah if you like uh, if you like this video remember to like like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye